Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl here. It's a very common shawl stitch. So shawl and it's very easy to do. It's only a two row repeat. So if you know how to double crochet and single crochet, you'll be able to, th to do this. So I just made a little bit smaller of a version just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's very pretty, very easy. You got this. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the yarn that I used for this particular um, sample that I made. So for that yarn, for my sample, I used a Lion Brand Tribute Sparkle, which is a uh, 96 uh, Bamboo 4% Polyester Blend. It is a lightweight number 3 and around 195 yards per ball. Now you don't have to use this yarn, you could use any any weight that you wanted, but say you wanted to use a two or a three weight yarn, um, a thousand yards would make a make you a shawl approximately, I would say about 70 inches from point to point. But you can use um, a smaller weight or a bigger weight if you choose. Um, for this particular three weight yarn here, I'm using an eye, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. If you decide to use a different size yarn, like a one, two, uh, four weight, something like that, I always recommend it for a shawl. If you want it to have a nice drape, use a uh, hook size, a full hook size bigger than what it recommends on the label. If not, uh, let's see, this one recommends a four millimeter and I'm using a, I'm using a five and a half if so. Uh, a hook size or a hook size and a half bigger. It'll give it a nice drape depending on what yarn you're using. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. Like that. And then we're going to work a chain of seven. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. I would not recommend using the magic circle on this particular pattern because you need your ring to be a bit bigger for the stretch on it. So go ahead and slip stitch through there. Like that. Now we're going to start off with a chain of one. Now that chain of one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we're going to be working through the center of the ring and we're going to work two double crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one and there's two. And then we're going to work a chain of two, one, two. Now we're going to work two double crochets again through the center of the ring. There's one. And there's two. Again, we're going to chain two. And we're going to work two double crochets through the center of the ring. There's one and two. Now one more time, we're going to chain two and we're going to work two more double crochets through the center of our ring. There's one and that's two and that will end row one. So you'll have there four sets of two double crochets and then you'll have three chain two spaces. This is going to be the point of our shawl right here. So we're going to go ahead and start row two. And we're going to start off with the chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now that chain of five is counting as a double crochet plus a chain two. So three for the double and then a chain two. And then we're gonna turn our work. 
and we're going to work in this first chain two space here and what we're going to do here is we're going to do a triple v stitch so i'll show you how that's done we're going to put three double crochets into this chain space so there's one two and there's three and then we're going to chain two and go back into the same space and work three more doubles so the triple v stitch is three doubles a chain two and three doubles so the triple v stitch for this particular pattern is three doubles chain two and three doubles just like that now what we're going to do is we're going to work a chain of three one two three and in the next chain two space we're going to work a triple v stitch again so we're going to yarn over and go into that space and we're going to work three doubles there's one two three and then we're going to chain two and work three more doubles so that right there is the point of our shawl that we just worked and then we're going to chain three again one two three and then this last chain two space we're going to do our triple v stitch so we're going to work three doubles a chain two and three doubles into the space just like that now we need to end the round by chaining two one two and putting a double crochet into the double crochet here the last double crochet here on the end just like that and that will end row two so you'll have this will look like you'll have three of the triple v stitches and then you got these chain two spaces up here where my fingers are so we're going to start row three now we always start every row with a chain of five one two three four five and then we turn our work now we're going to work back into this space right here and we're going to work a single v stitch so we're going to yarn over we're going to put a double crochet into that first space chain two and then another double so the the single v is just one double chain two one double just like that now we are going to chain three one two three and we're going to single crochet into the next chain two space right here where the triple v is from the previous row single crochet right into it that. and then we're going to chain three again and we're going to put a single v stitch in where this chain three space is see that right here in between the triple v stitches from the previous row we're going to go right into it and we're going to work a double crochet a chain of two and another a double crochet we're just going right through the spot just like that and then we're going to chain three and whenever you get to the point which is right here 
we're not going to put a single crochet here we're going to put a regular V stitch right here in this point so we're going to go right through it and put a double crochet chain of two and a double crochet just like that now we just need to make this side match this side so again we're going to chain three one two three and we are going to put a regular v stitch right here in the space of in between these triple v stitches from the previous row so i'm going to go right through the space and do a double crochet chain two and another a double crochet that's your regular v then we're going to chain three and now we're at a triple v stitch here that is not the point so we're going to put a single crochet into it into that space and then we're going to chain three and then in this space here we need to put a regular v-stitch because that's how we started out over here so we put a double crochet chain two and double crochet now we need to end the row by chaining two and putting a double crochet in the third chain of this group of five here that we did so one two three put a double crochet into that third chain and that We'll end the row. That ends row three. So rows four and five now are going to be the repeat rows. So if you look at what you have here at the end of row three, you got one, two, three, four, five single V single V stitches, including the one of the point. So why don't we go ahead and start at row four. Remember four and five are the repeat rows. Just a two row repeat. And we always start off with a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn our work. You're gonna find this row very similar to row two. We're gonna be working the triple V stitches this time. So for the triple v-stitch row we don't go into this spot here we just jump right over here to this regular v-stitch and we work a triple v-stitch into it so there's three doubles chain of two and three doubles just like that and now we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to skip over all the, this chain here the single crochet this chain here we're going to work into the next uh, V stitch from the previous row right here and we're going to put a triple V stitch into that so three doubles chain two three doubles so there's one two three and you chain two go back in and work three more doubles one two and three now you would work this until you get to the point of the shawl which we are at right now you can see right here so we're going to go ahead and chain three 
And in the point of the shawl, it's the same thing. It's just a triple V stitch. Three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. And again, we need to make this side to match this side. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We are going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to look for our next single V stitch, which is right here. And we're going to put a triple V stitch into that spot. So three doubles, chain two, three doubles. chain three skip over the chains and single crochets and you find your next single V stitch right here and we triple V stitch into that and we would just do this until we get to the end here so let me go ahead and triple V stitch into the spot That. And now we're going to go ahead and end a row four by chaining two and putting a, a double crochet into the third chain of this chain five here. Just like that. That'll end the row. Now we're going to start row five, which is the final row of the repeat. We're going to start off with the chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn our work. So this time it is the single V stitch row. So this time we're going to work right here in this first chain two space and work a single V stitch. So a double, chain two, and a double, like that. And then we are going to chain three, and we are going to single crochet into the next triple V stitch. Single crochet into it. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to put a single V stitch right here into this chain space in between these triple V stitches. So just right through this space, we just go ahead and do a double, chain two, and double. Just like that. And we would just repeat that until we get to the point of our shawl. So again, we're going to chain three and a single crochet into the next triple V stitch. Chain three and, sing and then, then we do our uh, regular V stitch right here, single V stitch into the chain space between our triple V stitches from the previous row double crochet chain two double crochet now remember you would just keep repeating this until you get to the point well here's the point right here of my shawl so I'm going to chain three now we don't single crochet into it the point never gets a single crochet we're going to do just a regular single V stitch into the chain space. Double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And then again, we need to match this side with this side, so we're going to chain three. And in this ch next chain three space here, we're going to do a 
single V stitch. So just go right through the space and double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Then we're gonna chain three. And we are going to single crochet into the chain space of the next triple V from the previous row. And we just repeat this till we get to the end. Chain three. And single V stitch right here in this space. So we'll go right into it. And work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and we're going to chain three, and we need to single crochet into the next uh, triple V stitch, just like that. So you can see I'm coming to the end here. You would just repeat that so you came to the end. Now I'm going to chain three and in this space right here we're going to do a single V stitch so go right into this chain space here at the end and we're going to work a double crochet chain two double crochet now we're going to end by chaining two and putting a double crochet in the third chain of this group of five here one two three doesn't have to be exact, it's somewhere near there. Double crochet, that'll end row five, and that'll end the repeat rows. So you would just keep repeating rows four and five. Here, I'm gonna bring my other piece up here. And until you get to your desired length. Now you would want you would want to end on a row four repeat, so you have the shell there at the end but if you look closely at it you can see that it becomes quite easy every row every repeat row and here's the center of my point of my shawl one is the triple v stitch row and the next is the single v stitch row triple v stitch row single v stitch triple single triple single that's all it is you just do those repeat those rows uh back and forth back and forth until you get your shawl as big as you want it to be you can make it as large or as small as you like um and like i said if you want to go ahead and end on a row four repeat which is the shell row you can do that if you want to add fringe or, or anything that would be very pretty like in between the chain spaces of the shawls or any type of border if you'd like to go across the top and clean clean it up with single crochet that's always an option but that's it it's a very easy um youtube does have a slow mode on it if you need to slow slow me down a little bit there you can find that down there um right below the video but i hope that you enjoyed i hope uh you were able to follow along okay this is such a, a gorgeous and easy shawl to make and if you make this i'd really love to see a picture of it you can post it on my bag of day crochet facebook page or you can come follow me on instagram and post it there i'd love to see what colors and what yarn that you chose for yours so don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button and leave me a comment below that always helps me out and until next time have a good day bye guys